education policy and the situation of education in Karnataka. One is in the name of revising the textbooks, the entire curriculum has been poisoned. Whatever that we have done in 2005, National Curriculum Framework, which is not only famous in India, but across the globe. So now they are destroying that. The entire education system has been communalized, saffronized. We are not putting money where the money should go. The Kotari Commission said 6% of GDP should go to education. The best was the Congress did 4.5% under the best years of UPA. And now it's gone below that. There are three or four governments in this country which have done fantastically well in public school systems. Uh, if you go to schools in Wayanad, there's no question that the government school teacher will go to a private school. It's out of question. The RTE says, the NEP says, look, the mother tongue is the first language to learn. But can the child learn English and Hindi as well? We will learn. South Indians will learn Hindi if it's not imposed by the Delhi government. So that is a message from the South. We don't know that there is an education emergency. Two years children are out of school. Today when we go to a 600 child, it doesn't know two digit addition. It is learning fractions. And all government school systems in this country are very happy that let us do business as usual. And when parents are thinking about languages, of course Canada would be important. But where does English fit and where does Hindi fit into this? If you go to a bank, if you go to a bank, you go to a bank, you go to a Hindi English, you go to a Canada. So, I was told that I was Hindi English, I was told that I was Hindi English. I was told that I was Hindi English. Now, I'm going to go to the education. So, in this COVID time, every block education officer in the DDP is an association network. So, a placement bank is every BEO, government minister system, demand. So, explaining the entire corruption in the education issue, they addressed a letter to the PMO's office. And just before... Now, the letter is addressed to Nantra. PM office is the acclimatement. The state government is the state government. 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 The unauthorized schools are the least of the least. 30, 40, 50 years of school are also the least of the least. And the reputed school is also the least of the least. The least of the least of the least. The least of the least of the least. The least of the least of the least. Much more money of governments needs to go into health and education. I think without doing that, it's a non-starter. I also understand our education system, it is under systematic attack from ideological forces. Earlier it was only in their schools, now it is entering the curriculum, it is changing the way people think etc. And I think education with the right value system, with the right ideas is basically suffering. Uh, so I am not of the view that government uh, sector cannot run education institutions, I think that you have to support them, you have to create the space for them to do it, and you have to give them the money to do it. I'm very clear in my mind.